Welcome to another Song of Iron Making Up video where we're going to talk about the combo system running the animations that we made last time. Here's a quick little glimpse of it, but let's take a look at it running alongside the game. So you can see here that I'm always firing off two functions. There's a player input and then there's a master combo function. The player input is deciding between the axe swing, the unarmed attack, or the shield swing. And then the combo does all the heavy lifting of what point of the combo we're in and what animation to play. So here I said a few things, the combo type and the animation montage that I want to play, and I'm going to send it up to the node. So here I check against if I'm playing the same combo or not. Let's assume I'm not. So I'm going to reset the combo count to zero, and I'm going to then move on from there. Since I'm starting at zero, I'm going to play through this top line. And we're going to check if I can do a few things. We're going to spend stamina, and we're going to play the animation. Now, as soon as the animation starts to play, I'm going to add, increase the combo count by one, and then I'm going to look for the anim notify to open a gate for the next part of the attack to play. While that gate is open, and if I click again, I'm going to check again against the combo count. And this time it's the same, so the combo count's going to stay at one, and we're going to move through the gate, which is now open, and we're going to be able to loop all the way back down around, spend stamina again, and play the next animation. The next animation is built into the montage already in a section. I'm using this array based on my combo count to tell the montage which section to play, which in this case is attack number two. I'm still going to add a count to the combo count, which put it at three, but I don't have a follow-up animation, so my gate's never going to open. Instead, I'm going to make it all the way to my exit notify, which is going to bring me all the way down here, which is going to find the current montage, stop it from playing, and clear any excess variables that I may have set. Now, we can see it here as the first animation plays through, goes to the top, and then opens the gate. The second animation goes through the gate, runs all the way around, and plays again, while the third attack is blocked by the closed gate. What I've done here is tried to build a system that's very modular, so I can add as many combos with as many attacks as I want, quickly and easily. This has been another making of video for Song of Iron. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.